This is a recording to help you with one of the recursive traces on the quiz for chapter 13. Now this is actually a problem on the quiz, but I want to walk you through it because it uses a unary operator, the minus minus counter, and if you're watching these recordings in order, you should have already watched the very short recording that I did on unary operators to explain the difference between minus minus counter and counter minus minus. There is a difference there. So hopefully you've watched that so you will understand what's going on as I walk through the trace for this. Now here we have a recursive method and if the counter value that we pass in is zero we return. This is our base case to keep from infinite recursion. Otherwise for every another num ah, number other than zero we're going to print the number out, then we're going to call recursively the problem one method, and we're going to pass it the value encounter minus one. Okay? Now, if you watch that other recording on unary operators, you remember that when the minus signs are in front, that is the prefix form, and the prefix form means that the subtraction, the decrementing, will take place before the value is evaluated or used in the expression. And then it will be passed to the recursive call. So what I'm saying here is whatever values in the counter, I will subtract one from the value, then I will pass that value to the next call of the method. Meaning that I have actually changed the value in counter. I have manipulated, I have changed it, I have subtracted it by one, I have changed it before I pass it on to the next recursive call. So let's take a look at a tracing through this method. I'm going to start with the value of three and we know that that means because we're setting three as our parameter, our counter is going to equal three. Our condition here in the if statement says if it's a zero, stop or return. Well, three is not equal to zero. Notice also this is a print statement, P-R-I-N-T, not P-R-I-N-T-L-N, meaning that all of the things printed by these calls, they're, all the numbers are gonna be on the same line, okay? So, And there might actually have been, I can't remember in the program, there might actually have been a space in front for readability. There probably was, in fact, something like that. But either way, all right, I'm going to print everything on the same line. I am not printing these on different lines, and that'll be important for the output. So I'm going to print the number three. Then I am going to subtract one from three. That's going to put a value of two in counter because this is a prefix unary operator. The value two goes into my counter. I have actually changed the value that's in counter even within this first call here. Counter is technically a two now. It's not gonna matter in this one so much as it is in some of the other ones on the quiz. So I'm passing a two, right? I'm calling problem one now with a two. My counter is two. Because that is not a zero, I'm going to print a two on the same line as that three. I'm going to subtract one from two. I am going to update the value in counter. It is now a one. And now I'm going to call the method again recursively with the value of one. So my counter is a one. Again, that is not zero. I will print one on the same line. I will subtract one from one resetting my value and counter to zero and then I will pass that recursively in the call to the method prob1 again. Now here's where I'm going to stop because counter is zero. I return and that's a valid thing. You can just put return. This is a void method but in order to stop it and return the call back one way to do that is just to put return semicolon. So now I pass control back to here. Well if you remember there's no other line of code uh, other than another return here, right? So I'm not doing anything else. Nothing else is going to print. There's no more math going on. I'm just going to stop execution here, okay? So now I'm going to return 
back up to here where I called it with the two. I left off here and now I'm going to execute this return which says okay clean this one up stop it's done pass execution back to where I originally called it so in other words these returns I'm just I'm just closing that recursive call I'm cleaning up the memory I'm, I'm finishing it up and I'm returning back to the one before and because I have the return both here in the base case and in the else I'm not going to get into any infinite recursion I'm just no matter what happens I'm cleaning up closing out finishing up each individual recursive call neatly and appropriately until I get back to that last or rather that first call and now I'm just done so what I've done is on the way down I printed three two and one and then as I came back up all I did was close out each recursive call there was no additional printing or anything like that so I should see three two one printed out all together on one line when I run this and I do um, now here's one thing I want to show you notice how I said the value in counter, when it was a 3, I subtracted 1, I made it a 2, and I updated the value in counter, and then I passed it to the next call. And you might think, well, that doesn't matter whether I do a prefix or a postfix unary operator. Yes, it does. Here's where you'll see it. By putting it as a postfix, I have created an infinite recursion because I'm passing the value of 3 over and over and over and over. Remember, with a postfix, I evaluate the expression, counter is still a 3, I pass a 3 on to the next call, and then I subtract it. Well, what happens is 3 gets passed over and over and over and over. It never gets to 2, it never gets to 1, it never gets to 0 to stop. And sometimes when I run it, I'll get a million 3s printing out here before it actually blows up. This time it's telling me, hey, you're going to have an overflow error because this thing is going to run infinitely. That's more or less what that stack overflow is telling me. I've got an infinite recursion. It's going to eat up all the memory. So I would not suggest you necessarily test this out unless you've got everything else closed out on your computer in case it causes you to have to reboot or something. So you can try that and see for yourself that there's a big difference between doing the post fix and the prefix in this case because it will stay a 3 as it evaluates it evaluates it as 3 and passes a 3 and then it keeps passing a 3 and it never ends so that is why they did a prefix instead of a postfix operator in this case hopefully that helps you with that problem on the quiz and helps you understand that the value of counter is actually changing it starts as a 3 in this first recursive call. It actually is not only or is it passing a 2 on to this next call, it's actually updating the value in counter. If I were to put a print statement here, instead of a return or in front of the return, if I put a print statement right here, you would be able to see that the value of counter is changed and updated each time that this thing is this method is called okay so please please pay attention to these unary operators when you're tracing through recursions